schedule. They're coming off the back of essentially looking a little bit figured out at the end of these tournaments now. And there was actually an interview recently with the Dallas Fuel talking to the Dallas Morning News, and Dallas Fuel are doing and utilizing things that they've never done before. Given that we're on the safer side, having already qualified for playoffs, it feels like we have time for ourselves. Now, what I'm reading into that is, Dallas Fuel have already secured enough league points that they, are, they know they're through to playoffs. So instead of focusing on short-term victories, they have time now to learn so that they're incredible by the time it gets around to playoffs, grand finals. That's the focus. So the final stage of the season was pretty important for us, especially to clinch the first seed in the West and make sure we were guaranteed playoffs. Uh, getting in the top three seeds in NA uh, was very important for us because, you know, you get to pick your opponent, you get a little bit more of a break, you don't have to worry about the stress of playing. So that was our main goal for that stage. Um, we had to win two games. So that's what we ended up doing. The season final tournament was well, not very good. We didn't think it was 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 good. We tried to do a lot of things. At the end of the day, that whole stage, we were, you know, we're trying new things, we're experimenting, we're still practicing, still working hard, but, uh, you know, trying different things, getting ready for playoffs, and, you know, that's obviously the, the big important one at the end of the day. So, it's a bit sad, but we still have a lot of more important things to do. So going in, having that extra time and that break from not going to Hawaii this time was kind of nice for the players to kind of relax and get ready for the next patch that we're going to have for playoffs. So we were raring to go as soon as we were doing that, but I think it was really important for our team just to kind of have that little, little reset and a little bit of a time to sit back, watch some other teams play for once. So going into play-ins, I will say this, this is the first time we've actually made official playoffs for the Fuel franchise. So it's been quite a relief and it feels really good to not have to go through something like that and, and, and that sort of gauntlet. Play-ins are very stressful, like you lose one, you're out sort of thing. So, you know, it was pretty exciting to watch and uh, see how these other teams were doing. It's fun to watch, <laughs> very stressful with other teams, but for us, again, we got to kind of see what opponent we want to play. And us being the first seed in the West and uh, the uh, second seed overall allowed us to have second pick going into the uh, selection show. We gathered here today to fill out the rest of this playoff bracket right here because the top three seeds, that is the Dragons, the Dallas Fuel and the Hunters, they will get to choose their first round opponents in just minutes. But they will have to go in order and the top seeded Shanghai Dragons will get their first pick. And yes, it is set. The Shanghai Dragons wants to face off against San Francisco Shock. Obviously, it got kind of crazy because uh, Shanghai picked Shock right off the bat, which at the end of the day, I can kind of understand it. Uh, but at the same time, it was uh, kind of shocking to, to most people. At the same time, it helped uh, us kind of figure out who we wanted to play. Now let's move on to the number two C team, and that is none other than the Dallas Fuel. Washington Justice Washington is on the pick list. 그래서 저희가 저희도 원래 다른 팀을 뽑을 생각이었었는데 처음에 갑자기 이게 픽이 바뀌었어요 뭔가 그래서 어 그래 어, 워싱턴 뽑아볼까 하면서 약간 그런 식으로 뽑힌 거라. Uh, Sparkle, I just hear you laughing. Is what's so funny? Was there a specific reason why you guys chose Washington Justice? 어 일단 오늘 경기 한 거를 지켜보고 있는데 너무 지루하더라고요. 그래가지고 요새 또 기운이 폼이 좀 많이 좋은 것 같길래 자 한번. So Sparkle says that they've watched uh, Washington Justice's game throughout, throughout the play-ins and he says that it was very boring and he just wants to murder Decay. All right, yes. So Sparkle said he's going to murder Decay. I don't think that's legal in the Overwatch League. Uh, hopefully he just meant in-game which is fine, you know, you can do that, you know, eliminate him, I guess. Uh, he doesn't actually want to murder him, uh, just so anybody thinks that uh, Sparkles is a, a joker. But no, at the end of the day, I'm sure, you know, they're very competitive boys, and uh, I think it's going to be a fun matchup at the end of the day. I've had some good matches against Washington, but 
obviously we've came out on top for the most part against those guys and we'll see you know we're working on a lot of different strategies a lot of ideas and you know always i'm sure we're going to play to our strengths but uh i guess we'll find out when we play them but uh, yeah, once we got to back to practice, it, it definitely felt a bit of a different vibe. You know, the guys are really back at it, you know, putting, you know, their head down, learning and, and working together on, on everything, you know, VOD reviewing every night, you know, really, you know, this is, you know, this is the big one, right? At the end of the day, this is something that they've been practicing all year for. It all matters now. Like, yes, May Melee was great, but winning grand finals is, is our end goal, right? So yeah, practice has been really, you know, rigorous and uh, and the guys are really focusing. But at the same time, it's still the same fuel guys, you know, they're still joking around, laughing around, you know, you don't, you're still seeing, you know, Sparkle cracking jokes and, and them having fun because that's part of this team, right? It's not just like they're super serious all the time. They enjoy playing with each other. So going into Hawaii in the playoffs, I think you honestly have the most stacked uh, eight teams in playoffs. I don't think there's any team that necessarily shouldn't be there. I think everybody in the playoffs has a chance to potentially make it all the way, honestly. 누가 뭐 확실히 우위에 있다라고 하기도 애매하고 다들 비슷 비슷한 이제 수준이라 생각해요. 이제, 이제 그만큼 기간도 길었고 그 전에도 이제 싸워왔던 이제 것들이 있기 때문에 또 못하 원래 잘하던 팀이 못했다가 이제 다시 이제 좀 요즘에 다시 올라왔기 때문에. 다뭐 누구든 뭐 결승까지 갈수 있다고 생각해요. 저희 팀뿐만이 아니라 그렇게 그런 거에 대해서 이제 그런 거 치면 저희도 이제 되게 많이 열심히 노력을 해야겠죠. 그렇습니다. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. I think um, I'm excited to go back to Hawaii because I mean, this one is for all the marbles and uh, you know, I know our team's excited and motivated and you know, it should be a great tournament. I'm really looking forward to it. So, obviously there were some pretty unfortunate news that came across uh, from the league that uh, we would no longer be playing in uh, playoffs in Dallas and uh, grand finals in LA. Obviously, when we first heard the news about going to Dallas for playoffs, we're like, oh, this is great. You know, we get home field advantage in a sense. You know, you got all the, the few fans, live audience, everything. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic. And I know our players and team are super excited to perform there. The playoff was grand final. Hawaii. At first, it really did suck hearing that because, you know, we were so excited for what we were going to do. But at the end of the day, you know, this isn't anything that I think the league or anyone wants to do, right? Uh, it's just, you know, COVID's still out there, you know. This kind of was like the best option at the end of the day. We're here to compete and, uh, you know, we're going back to Hawaii again. So it is what it is. I mean, a bit disappointing, but, you know, we, we can't just like dwell on that. We need just to focus on what's next and that's why. 아무래도 제가 오버워치에서 이제 그랜드 파이널 같은 대회는 이제 우승한 적 우승해 본 적이 없어요. 다른 게임에서도 해 봤고 뭐 약간 오버워치에서도 이제 컨텐더스에는 해 봤고 마지막에 우승하는 팀이 제일 잘하는 거고 그것만 거의 기억에 남기 때문에 그거밖에 기억 안 나요. 솔직히 마지막에 우승하는 거밖에. 그런 점에서 이제 굉장히 우승한다면 아마 엄청 기쁠 것 같고 so for me personally, uh, winning the Overwatch League would mean everything. I've won a world championship before in another game in Call of Duty, and you could argue also in Overwatch before with Apex, you could consider that kind of like a world championship at the time. But I mean, you know, this is the Overwatch League. This is something that I've been with since the very beginning. And having such kind of rough seasons and uh, coming into this one would mean everything for me because, you know, I know this team has worked so hard. I know we've all worked so hard, you know. So the team is it'd just be the icing the cake of already a fantastic season, right? And uh, you know, hopefully we get to lift that trophy at the end of the year. 